第15章。O blooming, lotus-eyed girl, Rade, when my eyes directly saw your pond, Radaku, which is filled with sweet water and lotus flowers surrounded by blissfully humming bees, then I really got the desire to taste The nectar of your service. <coughs> In the previous verse, Sri Raghunath Das prayed to Sri Mrati that he may once see. Her lotus feet anointed with lacquey dye. And in this verse, he prays for the actual service of these anointed lotus feet, having become greedy for that service. <laughs> O、oh, lotus eyed Rade, ever since I got to see your lake, I developed a liking for your devotional service. Sri Radha Kong is the limitlessly Beautiful crown jewel of Raja. Thiaji's sarasi, which is most dear to those whose everything is the service of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. The kund is a sweet. As Radha's sweetness, and the kund is as great as Radha's greatness. <coughs> Sri Krishna will bestow a love equal to that of Radha's to anyone. Who bathes even once in this pool? And he gave definition of doesn't great, great that person who makes others great.、Oh. And the great is means who can give ex,、uh, himself or herself to anyone,、oh. mm. even the smallest.、Oh. The smallest. For me, great means materialist. The smallest is Jiva,、mm. and materialist can give her even to this Jiva. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so to say something, Radha Chalan was saying so beautiful, and we have opportunity here. It's also Raghunath like Tulsi Manjari. Makes all sadhakas great because he received all mercy from Radha Kund. Actually, he received all mercy from Shrimati Radha, and through him, through his words, through the drops of his words, he is giving so much mercy to everyone. 
to all jivas who wants to enter in this ocean of Mahabharata. Because the Radha Kuda is unlimited ocean. We see what would materialize, maybe it's boundaries, it's not so big, but this is unlimited ocean. And it's a boundless ocean, and there is no, no one can measure the depth of the ocean of Shimati Radhika's love. So by the mercy of her maidservants, we have opportunity to, to be bath. Not that we are bath, but to be bath. In the Radha Kunda, through their words, then this is really bad. To be bad. Not I'm jumping in the lake. But through the words, through the words of Raghunath or Tulsi Manjari, I can be bad. By listening. Through the ears. The drops of Radha Kunda can enter in my heart. So each word, each syllable, like we say, is a drop of real Radha Kunda. And this is the special mercy of Shimati Radharani and of course the special mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> so, Raghunath in the words is saying, my eyes want directly to see your palm. What does it mean directly? <laughs> Directly means that I completely feel all your feelings. This is me. It, it means directly. It's not that just my eyes see you directly. No, that my heart completely feels your heart. It means seeing directly. So this is another vision. Not worldly vision, but vision which is coming from deep spiritual relationship between the and her So very often when we are listening about Radha Kunda desires in the hearts of the devotees, up here, I want to go, I want to sprinkle myself with this beautiful liquid prema which we heard from Chagas. But maybe sometimes we forget that every second, every minute, every day we have even in Croatia, Germany, Japan, wherever in the world, we have opportunity to constantly pass. <coughs> constantly. Because now we are sitting here in Vrindavan, under the feet of Radha Mosa. But if we are really connected with Tulsi Manjari and Radha and her Mosa, then we can bath in this Radha Kunda. And not only that, so, by bathing ourselves, we can also bath the others to sprinkle their hearts. But if my heart is so dry, there is no flow of Radha Kunda, how I will bath them? But if Radha Kunda is flowing with my heart, through the words of Acharyas, then measure. By the mercy, I can give some drops to the others so that we all together walk in the same ocean of love, which we call Radha. <laughs> this Radha Kunda. 
is actually not a bond that is visible to the eyes of the human being. It is the reservoir of all the love of Shumatra. It is like a <coughs> fountain head, a never ending fountain of divine love that even Krishna is receiving as a nectar stream of Radhika's mercy that makes him alive, that will fulfill all his desire. So what to speak about us? So this, this water is the element of the feelings. We know. So these waters of Srimadhi Radhika's divine heart and moods is so unlimited that it nourishes all living entities who want to take shelter of her. And like you said, we are getting is first of all, from our Gurudev, because it's always close to the feeling of Shivani. And she is always connected to the feelings of Shivani. So this is the mercy of Madhavanda. Not only a location, it is also a location near Radhavan, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu found this and revealed this to the whole of the world again. It was lost, it was covered by the influence of time. But on the other hand, it is eternal. Ah, these are the waters of love. <laughs> and any love that I want to develop in my de de uh, devotion to my Ishtadev, this sar, this essence of love of Shrimati Radhika's divine, you know, never ending reservoir is the source of this. <laughs> Because we know all goddesses, all that ever was, you know, giving love to anyone, it comes from her. And so, Raguna Das Goswami, as we have heard, Tulsi Manjari is so much attached to serving Srimati Radhika. And she or he does this at close by the waters of Radhika, crying. Begging. So that's why at least I come to Rilav and I try to always connect again and again with these feelings of divine love through my Guru Manjari, through my Guru and all my brothers and sisters who are helping me, uplifting my, uh, you know, my, my mind my heart feel close to this reservoir of love and wherever we see beautiful waterfalls always we can remember that this is the the rasasar the reservoir of love flowing freely now in this time to connect with this divine love of Shrimati Radhika to feel it everywhere and to also what you said so nicely. Those who are eager and those who are willing help all souls. We see now so beautiful. We have many groups here, many groups are coming. Some souls they come by themselves and some come in groups to rent up and so we also inspire each other to feel that flow of love. We are some part of this flow. We want to be servants of the flow of love. And like Hanumanji said so nicely, I'm always living the Leela every day. 
I always try to be conscious who I am in the service. My beloved God is. That is the essence of, of uh, all uh, our being. But sometimes I just forget it. And then it's so easy, by the help of all the bodies, we remind each other. Oh, you are also this small particle of love, of, of divine love, that has a, you know, has a purpose here in this world. To feel the love, to share the love, to be the love, and the close, you know, close feelings of this connection is the key. That's when we are reading the Lampakoshmatali, I become connected to it. That's why I like to get up early. You know, and <coughs> of course, I don't always come to Mangalaki, I'm sorry, because I'm just too far away and I need to chant and I need to do all my mantras. I have this, you know, obsession with my mantras, but uh, I am not so good at very strict sadhana. I cannot get up at two o'clock. I'm so sorry, but I do what I can do. But I connect to Radha Mohan, it's good in my heart. And I always pray every day, let some drops of this love of Srimad come into my dry heart. And you know, be of any service that you would love me to use. For. And then when we see like these initiations yesterday, also, I feel so happy. Why, you know, Gorosuna asked me, why you go to this? Why you like it so much? I said, I tell you, it's an overflow of emotions. And I like to feel it. It touches my heart. It makes me cry. I will use any moment that will do that to me. Because I need to soften up, you know, again and again. That is the only reason. There is no other reason. As long as I want to feel the love, I want to share the love. And I know because every drop of love is Shimati Radhika's mercy. It's her feeling somehow. And I want to, you know, just pray that I can always live in this love and inspire others also to, also to feel and live their love more and more and more. And then this planet, this world, maybe can become more loving, not so little. But I'm not so concerned about this. If I start with myself, if everyone starts with their self, then it can be like a ongoing flow where we can really, how to say, nourish my own being as a Sudasi of Shimadirasa. And also, maybe others are inspired by that, I don't know. But somehow, this is the, the thing that inspires me, the flow of emotions, the flow of love. Because this is what is our source, this is what is our being. And that is Radha Kund in its essence. And our Radha Kund is not only a location, it's not only there where I have to go. It's inside also. It's ever present. It's all pervading. It's all pervading. The Kund is as sweet as Radha's sweetness. And the Kun is as great as Radha's greatness. Shri Krishna will bestow a love equal to that of Radha's to anyone who bathes even once in this world. Mm. bestow a love equal to that of Just spontaneously, I feel it's Prem. Prema Bhakti. That really is on the level of spontaneous love. 
タンクの愛です。それが、私たちならば、私たちならば、私たちならば、私たちならば、私たちならば、私たちならば、私たちならば、But the way that Shimate Radhika is loving him, the selfless, unconditional love, with so many feelings that is unknown to this world. It is like, you know, love without fear, love without motivation, love without expectations. That is the love of Shrimati r a m a And we have heard from Gurudev many times. Krishna is actually giving us this chance to have this love of his most dear Shrimati r a m a This is how he is wanting to be. So it means that someone who is Attracted to Radha Kunda. Krishna immediately understands this person is very attracted to my beloved Radha Kunda. So I have to give him the mercy to approach Radha Kunda, to open the gate that he can approach Radha Kunda and become her maid servant. Because it is a s a r v a d a m a p a r i t a Everyone who is surrendering to my beloved, Guru d e v is a y i n g who is attached to my beloved, who is attracted, who has some taste for my beloved, he has all my blessings to attain my beloved. So we can see here that we need a Krishna's k r i p a also to attain Radhika. And then, by Radhika's mercy, we can serve both of them. So this is kind, kind of Exchange of mercy between Radha and Krishna by singing Krishna's name. Narutam Das Thakur is saying by Krishna's singing Krishna's name, one attain Radha, and by attaining by singing Radha's name, one attain Krishna. Actually, the both of them. If we sing just the Krishna's name and we don't understand that his goal of life is to attain his love, then we will always be on the God of God <coughs> consciousness. But if we chant Krishna's, really Krishna's name, with full feelings and desire to know his heart, <coughs> immediately we will understand his desire. to always be with Radha.